Brad Miller with FlyBass.com with you today. And today we're going to talk about um, kind of how to put your rod away. Um, a lot of people have a different ways of doing it. Um, a lot of the folks I fish with completely break their rod down, take the reel off, and put it in a, they'll put it in a tube, something like this, and then put the reel away in a separate place. Um, I don't have the uh, patience to do something like that. I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to that. Typically when I get done fishing for the day, I break the rod down in half and I'll let that front section just uh, just drop to the floor of the water and then I will reel it up. I always keep a I always keep a ponytailer on the end of the rod here. And then I've got you know basically a, a four foot uh, rod. It's all set up ready to go. If I'm transporting from one place to another it's a real easy way to do it. Now, why don't people want to do this type of a thing? A lot of the people that are really concerned about doing this, it's because you will put a kink in your tapered leader up here. And that's why a lot of folks completely cut off the fly, completely reel up all the fly line into the reel so that you don't get a kink in the memory of your tapered leader. I don't care about that. I've never seen that as a problem um, uh, on any water I've fished, whether it's bass water, salt water, uh, trout water in Montana. I've never seen a problem with that. So that's one way to do this. Um, if you're going to be putting uh, your rod away and then you have a regular rod tube, that works great, but there's actually a better way to do it. If you're going to be put, putting the rod away for a while, let's say you're, you're going to be traveling from one place to another, uh, and then a four-piece section like this actually is too long, then the way to go <coughs> is with a smaller rod case. And I really like uh, the idea of keeping the reel on the rod. And, and so, for example, this happens to be a Stonefly outfit from Maxon Outfitters that we sell. And uh, it comes with a real nice case. Uh, the rod, real backing, fly line, and tapered leader all comes with this uh, system at a very, very affordable price. But there's a, a different section here uh, for each of the uh, four pieces of your rod blank. And you can pop them in there and it keeps them all separate so they don't get scratched and stuff like that. Okay. Okay, and then, then that way you've got the reel already on there, and you can just uh, uh, string your rod up and get going. Um, we also sell these rod cases separately from Maxon. We've got a few different types. Um, this is a basic one here, uh, and it just, it just has a handle on it, a very nice high-quality zipper on these, and it's the same design you just saw, but it's got a different section for each one, and the main section for... Uh, the butt section with the fly rod on it. Then, if you want to get a little fancier, these are very, very affordable, by the way. Great way to keep your rod safe. This one actually has a strap on it, so you can, you can, if you're, if you're going to be packing, you can put it over your shoulder or whatever you want to do. And this is kind of a cool design as well. It's got, a, it's got kind of a gray um, nylon with that dark blue, but this also is built the same way. Um, these zipper, the zipper is very high quality. They work. I've used them quite a bit. And then you've got the same kind of nice cloth inner lining here. So um, regardless of whether you're going for short term or a longer term, uh, the rod cases that you use are very important. And these rod cases from Maxon that we sell on FlyBass.com uh, will really suit your needs very well at a very affordable price. Hey, Brad Miller for FlyBass.com. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you soon.